In today's video, you're gonna see a Toyota swerving all over the road, a Chevy in a pole, and a car full of teenagers who decided to play with the police. All of that in this video. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'd be happy to respond to your comments below the video. North Little Rock Police requested the help of Little Rock PD and Arkansas State Police. Trooper Ellison and Trooper Duncan intercept the chase. Due to the suspect's dangerous actions, officers decided to stop the camera as quickly as possible, which was soon done. The suspect attempted to hide in the woods, but failed as the chase included police officers with dogs. On Thursday, June 22, 2023, at approximately 5.13 p.m., the Independence County Sheriff's Office requested assistance with a vehicle pursuit. A deputy had attempted to stop a 2000 model silver Chevrolet Blazer with an Arkansas license for driving left of center on State Highway 122. The vehicle continued northbound on State Highway 122 and refused to stop for the deputy. became the lead unit and immediately began to set up to perform a TVI. After traveling off the roadway, the vehicle collided with a mailbox, culvert, and vinyl fence before overturning. After the vehicle came to a stop, the deputies and I were able to secure the vehicle and place the driver into custody. The driver, Hodum, is suspended out of Independence County for a misdemeanor warrant. Hodum was transported by vital link to the White River Medical Center for injuries sustained as the vehicle overturned. The Independence County Sheriff's Office is filing the charges on Hodum. Six seven six, we're south on Donahue there, about a three quarters of a mile ahead of me. On Tuesday, June 20th, 2023, at approximately 2 p.m., Conway PD advised ASP that they were in pursuit of a brown Ford Explorer in their city. Thank <laughs> you. 
While traveling northbound on Donaghy Avenue at Dave Ward Drive, I took the primary position in the pursuit. We continued north on Donaghy, passing UCA at approximately 60 miles per hour. At the intersection of Donaghy and Urbach, I conducted a successful TBI and in the pursuit. In total, there were seven occupants inside the car, four of which were juveniles. Okay, do you understand your rights? That's what you get when you fight the police. Well, I, I would never fight. Well, you were just fighting me and that other deputy right over there. No, no, yes, I, you were. I swear to God I was. No, I were. let him do what he wanted to do. No, you. no, you didn't. I did not resist. You 100% did, you did well, resist. Oh, oh, well, I don't run away. On the 6th day of July 2023, I was stationary facing east on Interstate 40 eastbound, looking for violations. While at the 256 mile marker exit ramp, I noticed a white Hyundai traveling west at a high rate of speed. I used my radar to confirm that the vehicle was traveling 101 miles per hour in a 75 mile per hour zone. I quickly left my stationary position eastbound and got on I-40 west. I caught up to the vehicle around the 251 mile marker and initiated my blue lights. The driver failed to stop and began fleeing. The suspect vehicle exited the interstate at the 242 mile marker and ran the stop sign for the intersection with State Highway 284. The suspect then continued to flee westbound on Interstate 40. Due to the manner of driving, I determined I would need to use a pit once I had another unit involved in the pursuit. The vehicle overturned several times before coming to a final rest on top of its facing south. I slowed down, made a U-turn, and assisted with the felony takedown. While exiting my vehicle, I could see two suspects fleeing into the west tree line within the ditch. Both suspects were apprehended later with the help of Arkansas Game and Fish, the St. Francis County Sheriff's Department, the Forest City Police Department, and the Forest City Fire Department drone team. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.